typically one thing I always shy away from is patching by device, right? And the reason being is when you start patching devices um, where you're choosing some but not others, what happens is you start putting approvals into a mix mode. And that is really how in Central goes, oh, we've got some that are approved and some that are not. Um, and then it puts it into a mix mode and makes it messy, right? Because you really don't know what is not approved and what is and what have you. So the, the way I like to do it um, is, if I hit cancel, so I try to, have, um, just for you know, re reiteration here, I try to avoid patching by device at all cost. But what I typically do is when I'm trying to find out what's installed and kind of update kind of what is needed, I look to this. So yeah, so just go by patch, yeah, patch management. And then, yeah, and then from there, if you open up the ribbon to the right, so, and you'll see the option where it says um, status needed. Mm -hmm. If you go down to the middle, yep. And then if you were to choose your cumulative update, like if you were to check check box under update or what have you, this is what um, is outstanding, right? Now you essentially want to know what devices are missing this. And that's where it gets tricky because from this view, you're unable to, to report on it. Um, or this is where you can approve it, and you, this is where you should approve it if you're doing so manually and not automatically. Um, but it's one of those things where I I kind of do the fact finding here to see what can be approved and push it out this way, but use the the device wizard to kind of show what devices have it and what devices don't. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but that really is the only kind of way in the UI to be able to do that. One thing that you can also do is use automation and uh, make a monitoring service, which we do an alternative. So uh, are all the basic KBs installed, right? And granted, you have to make sure that all these machines need that or some of them. Is KB installed is, I think it's that one, is optic installed. And then you can do whatever the KB numbers are and you can put multiple of those and just run this every day on all the machines and output that somewhere, whichever ones are missing and things like that. And you can use a policy to do it for you. And you, again, you do it either as a monitoring that you run a couple of times a day, or you do it as a um, as a policy that runs through a profile once or twice a day. You output that to a yes, no, or a no dash, here's what's missing type of filter. And then you could more easily manage that information.